Today we're going to build a SwiftUI based app which shows a live camera feed on the screen and also supports rotation of the device. The app is built with future image processing in mind so that for example an object detection model can easily be added. First we host a UI view controller in a SwiftUI view. Then we implement this controller which we use to request permission to use the camera, set up a capture session and configure a layer which presents the camera feed. We initially set up the app to work in portrait orientation and then add support for rotation as well. You can find the code from the video in the description below. The first thing we do is to take our initial SwiftUI project and in content view replace hello world with hosted view controller which is the name of our hosted controller view. This throws an error since we haven't defined hosted view controller yet. To fix this, we first create a new Swift file for the controller. Then we go into this file and add the three imports UI Kit, Swift UI, and AV Foundation. We need the AV Foundation framework to access the camera here. We create the UI View Controller class View Controller, which is going to contain all the logic to present the feed on the screen. To add this controller to Swift UI, we create a UI View Controller representable which wraps it in a SwiftUI view. Let's implement the controller next. The controller has two tasks here. It checks if the app has permission to access the camera, and if so, sets up a capture session to present the feed. The first thing we do in the controller is to define some variables. The first one lets us handle the control flow, depending on whether the user has granted access to the camera or not. The next two are required for accessing the camera, while the last two deal with presenting the camera feed. We'll go over them in detail later. We override the viewDidLoad method to check for permission and start the capture session once the app is opened. The functions we call here are implemented and explained in detail below. Check permission is a function in which we check if the user has granted permission to use the camera. Then we use the session queue to set up our capture session if the app has permission to use the camera. Before our app can access the camera for the first time, the user has to grant permission to do so. To add this check, we add a privacy user description. To get there, select the project, then go to info and add a new entry by hovering over an existing entry and clicking on the plus symbol. The user's decision is persisted on the device. Whenever the app starts, we read the decision and set our flag permission granted accordingly. In case the user has not been asked to grant permission before, we prompt him to do so. When we go back to the controller, we see that the capture session setup is performed on the dispatch queue session queue. The first thing we do in it is to check the value of our flag. Since requesting permission is asynchronous, we suspend the session queue here before making the request. This ensures that the capture session is configured only once a decision has been made. Now that we have the permission handled, let's implement the function setup capture session. A capture session lets us access devices such as the camera and provide captured data for other objects such as the preview layer in our case. Here we can see the components of the capture session which we'll use here. We need one input, the camera, and one output, the preview layer. In the capture session, we can rotate the incoming frames into the correct orientation. Let's implement the preview layer as the output. AV Foundation gives us the AV Capture Video Preview Layer class to present the camera feed. This is a core animation layer, which we can add to our view layer hierarchy. To add the layer, we have to set its size and position. Since the dimension depends on the device's orientation, we save the current width and height in the screen rack variable and use it to set the frame property of the layer. 
Additionally, we set the orientation of the incoming frames to portrait. All of this setup is handled on our session queue. Since updates to the UI must be performed on the main queue, we add our preview layer to the root views layer on the main queue. When we now run this app, we can see a full screen camera feed. The app works great as long as we open it in portrait orientation and leave it there. As soon as we rotate the device, SwiftUI will rotate the view. Then the dimensions of the preview layer don't match the screen anymore, and so we have a large unused section on the screen. Additionally, the camera feed now appears rotated. We can fix this by reading the device's orientation when it has changed and update the layer's dimensions, as well as the orientation of the incoming frames. To detect that the orientation has changed, we override the controller's will transition method. When this method is triggered, we update our variable screen rect with the current screen dimension. Then we read the device's orientation and update the rotation of the incoming frames in the capture connection. Note that there's a difference between the orientation of the device and the layer in landscape modes. That is because the device checks if the home button is on the left or right, while the layer checks its top edge. So when the device is in landscape left, the layer is in landscape right. When we run our app again and rotate the device, we see that the preview feed now works correctly in all supported orientations. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See you in the next one.